Hi family members, it has been very long that I made a video on parents. Uh, recently Deepu has asked uh, to just record something about what father is to do in his office functions because she was very curious to know uh, because he, uh, she and uh, other grandchildren never knew what he is to do in office. Uh, to begin with, as uh, you all know, uh, father uh, though uh, was a meritorious student, uh, could not continue his uh, uh, studies of doing engineer, engineering uh, because of financial constraints of uh, grandfather and uh, at the age of 18, he joined the uh, uh, Ministry of Home Affairs as a camp clerk. So that was a unique position which uh, used to be there in those days, uh, which was in LDC Kader. Uh, they were called camp clerks because in the British time, the officers, government officers used to go to villages, districts, taluks uh, to uh, meet people and meet officers uh, to discharge their functions. So. Uh, of course, there was no question of computers in those days. Even typewriters were very scarce. And they were not available in large numbers. Of course, there used to be typewriters in uh, offices, but uh, they used to be uh, big in size and uh, uh, normally they are immobile. If they are kept on the table, uh, most of the time the typists used to uh, work on that there itself. And of course, very few people used to have uh, a small personal typewriters uh, which could be easily carried. Uh, but uh, doing work on that small uh, typewriters was uh, difficult. So there was a position called uh, camp class. Uh, what these people used to do is that uh, uh, normally people who are good in English and uh, whose handwriting is to be good are selected as camp clerks. And in case of uh, father, uh, both were as you know that uh, his English was extremely good, his uh, writing skills were good and his uh, handwriting was fantastic. So that must be the reason he got uh, selected easily uh, for this uh, position of camp clerk. Uh, the camp clerk used to go with the officers in uh, the, their government jeeps and uh, wherever uh, they used to halt and uh, discuss uh, with either uh, the citizens or with other government officials. So uh, whatever has been dictated to them, they used to write uh, and uh, uh, first of course uh, a rough uh, version then they used to fade that and uh, the senior officials is to sign that only so most of the office documents like that used to be in writing so the father's uh, predominant role was uh, writing uh, notes that was the reason i think uh, uh, as long as he was in service and uh, subsequently also his uh, writing skill were excellent <clears throat> then while doing that job and after getting married and uh, after I think we were born, a uh, few of us at least, uh, he started uh, learning typing and most importantly shorthand. So after uh, I think passing the shorthand of lower and higher, uh, he shifted from camp clerk to a position of a uh, stenographer. Then uh, subsequently he went on to uh, become a PA uh, in assistant cadre PA to the Central Intelligence Officer of uh, Vijayawada. So Vijayawada used to have a, a regional Central Intelligence Officer's uh, um, office and uh, the head was uh, uh, called uh, uh, CIO. So father used to work as a PA to him and uh, we, uh, we know a little bit of that because uh, his office was used to in um, uh, Labi Pet in Vijayawada, very near to that uh, Venteshara temple and uh, of course he was extremely popular there and because of his uh, sincerity, hard working, his command over English, command over typing and uh, shorthand and uh, apart from all other things, uh, uh, he was uh, very good in uh, 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 what is called uh, Morser, uh, equipment called Morser. Uh, which I think uh, was uh, shown in a uh, movie also recently uh, one movie has released. Uh, it's a very peculiar uh, way of communication where a knob is there then uh, it is electronically and wirelessly connected from office to office and uh, the operator 
keeps on uh, just um, patting that uh, onto the the base of it so uh, like a tabla or any percussion instrument uh, it creates a sound and a sound is not a, a, a random sound uh, it is it one has to be trained in that and that sound created uh, is such that the recipient uh, can uh, read that message it is a, a message sent through uh, the sounds created by the tapping of it so father has learned that and they became an expert of that uh, normally in those days defense used to use this uh, when they are in the borders if they have to send messages to the base camp they used to use this uh, equipment and uh, of course home ministry also had uh, this equipment and any important message very urgent message is to be sent which normally should be short in the length then it is to be sent through this and uh, apart from other things father was the only person in that uh, uh, the office who used to send the messages uh, through that uh, so it is something very special uh, which uh, art which he had then of course uh, late say, 60s and early 70s uh, apart from all other things uh, all other things means typing shorthand and uh, hindi classes which he used to attend uh, he attended uh, uh, he prepared for section officers uh, examination also with a great difficulty because in those days getting a notification itself was very difficult from delhi then not only he had friends in delhi who used to send him notifications that the vacancies have been announced and uh, he used to get books from them and uh, prepare on his own without any tutor or without any guide and ultimately in 1972 he passed the examination of uh, section officers and got selected in the interview and uh, posted to delhi in 72 uh, so uh, 72 he went of course uh, uh, we all of us except uh, sudha went uh, uh, to delhi and uh, we stayed there for one year and after which he got transferred to kohima and uh, we came back to vaizag and uh, amuma started uh, supervising the construction of our house and uh, he stayed in kohima for uh, two years and came back to delhi again so kohima was a very special posting in his life because uh, he is to uh, <clears throat> enjoy that posting as well as he got a, uh, a very very uh, cherished memories of uh, um, kohima because uh, as a section officer of course in delhi he was only uh, heading a section whereas uh, <clears throat> in kohima he he headed the entire office like uh, the central intelligence officer of vijayawada whatever his role was and uh, uh, father's role was the same in Kohima. So he headed the uh, uh, IB's office in Kohima, which is a, a very, very, uh, although we all uh, didn't know as children and uh, also Amama didn't know, but uh, it is definitely, uh, what do you call it, it is not a very safe place in those days because uh, uh, those days and subsequently also, there was a lot of insurgencies in uh, Kohima and uh, this office and the officers were under heavy, heavy uh, security. They always used to move with security outside and uh, heading that department uh, uh, and office was uh, not that uh, easy because uh, uh, Naga was, uh, uh, Nagaland was full of tribals which were uh, uneducated and uh, uh, still very primitive and uh, if, if they feel something, somebody or something is uh, harmful to them, they used to simply kill the people. So from that point of view, uh, the, the Kohima uh, Nagas as well as of course in, in the guys who are indulging in insurgency activities uh, uh, always fa uh, posed a threat uh, to the people. And uh, uh, that was a special uh, posting for him of uh, heading the, the entire office uh, for the first time in his uh, life at a very young age of uh, uh, early 40s. Then after two years, he came back to his uh, original office in uh, Delhi and uh, then in 77, all of us have uh, joined him, uh, leaving uh, Vizak. And uh, of course, uh, as a section officer, you just uh, had a section only. Then after some time, uh, he uh, got promoted as uh, assistant director in IB. And uh, both as a section officer and an assistant director, uh, he used to handle highly, highly sensitive uh, 
uh, the uh, highly sensitive desk of China. So uh, traditionally, as you know, that uh, much before Pakistan, uh, China was considered uh, to be an enemy country uh, to India, and uh, whatever activities happen at, uh, at the borders, otherwise at international forums, and uh, always uh, India and uh, China were at the opposite side and uh, always drag us uh, drawn. Uh, of course, subsequently Pakistan has uh, become uh, enemy number one, but the original number, uh, enemy number one al was always China. So he is to handle that uh, sensitive uh, seat. So as an intelligence officer, uh, their uh, job was, of course, the, the field officers, uh, junior field officers, uh, whom we call as inspectors or uh, IB officers. Uh, they are the guys who go out and uh, collect uh, intelligence information and uh, submit their reports to uh, the office uh, people, like uh, uh, father or other officers. And uh, apart from the intelligence inputs given by the officers, uh, uh, father is to go through a lot of uh, documents, papers and other things which have been uh, uh, collected by various sources, by various officers. And his uh, job was predominantly uh, going through them uh, uh, thoroughly and analyzing them and uh, preparing a very, very brief and uh, short uh, reports for their seniors, especially IB officials, including uh, IB chief. Uh, uh, so there used to be review meetings daily and uh, most importantly, a weekly review meetings used to be there. And uh, after the weekly uh, review meetings, whatever the reports generated, uh, used to directly go to the uh, home minister. So, father had an uh, excellent uh, reputation of uh, preparing excellent reports, uh, which uh, when he is to submit to the IB uh, chief, uh, straight away he is to send those reports to, to the uh, home minister. And uh, he was highly regarded uh, for his uh, excellent knowledge, sincerity, dedication, uh, command over English and uh, uh, preparing very very precise uh, reports uh, so uh, because of uh, uh, this uh, uh, special quality and uh, the special liking which uh, successful IB chief sees to have on father especially uh, Narayanan uh, he after the retirement uh, Mr. Narayanan was the IB chief uh, who gave a two years extension uh, to uh, father uh, for his excellent work he has done during his uh, tenure and uh, another important uh, thing is that uh, as always uh, uh, father was uh, is to be extremely uh, secretive about his job and uh, the documents handled by him uh, i used to remember in rk Purama office uh, his bedroom used to be his office because there were no separate uh, rooms for that uh, not only in office, uh, though he used to come late, even after coming from the office, he used to carry some documents with him and uh, he used to keep on reading them uh, all alone, sitting in the bedroom. And uh, on Saturdays, Sundays also he used to work. And uh, uh, because there were not too many almaras in those days, so he used to keep all his uh, office documents uh, uh, below his mattresses. So, uh, in those days, going to his uh, room was uh, prohibited, number one. And even if we go to his room for any important uh, work, uh, we were never permitted to, uh, you know, see what was there beneath his uh, bed. Uh, he only is to uh, assess that and, uh, uh, you know, he never used to discuss anything related to office. Uh, and uh, you know office matters or who are the officers, where is the office. In fact, for uh, most of our life, we never knew where his office was and uh, what his uh, designation or what, what is the sort of uh, uh, things he is to handle or what is his telephone number. So maybe uh, he, he wrote a, uh, the telephone number on a slip of paper and uh, gave to the mother, if any emergency is there, uh, call me. So I don't uh, ever remember in my life Though mobiles was not there, but uh, phones were very common. Even we had a phone, uh, black phone in our house. And uh, we joined jobs in 82, from 82 to 91. Uh, we had uh, a reasonably good access to the telephones. But I never remember having ever called him uh, in on his office number in my entire life, in his entire career. So that was the 
uh, the, the the secretive nature is to maintain and uh, uh, follow all the rules regulation code of conduct to the t so uh, i think these are some of the important things uh, fortunately uh, there is to be some officers called santanam vakteshwarlu then uh, narsimham uh, i used to be very friendly with them whenever they used to come and uh, you know uh, for some time they used to talk with father and uh, then they used to talk to me and uh, for most of the information which i am now sharing in this video i got to know through these uh, three gentlemen especially narsimham so because he is to really uh, uh, idol him and worship him like anything and uh, in fact after father passed away also he came uh, to durga's house and for continuously for 40 minutes he kept on talking about father only in the same way santanam and uh, venkateshwar lu who used to work in delhi and uh, used to uh, be friendly with uh, father in uh, 72 when he was a bachelor uh, but of course uh, they used to maintain distance and uh, highly regard him so they also shared uh, many uh, things about his office and his work and his nature and how to how he used to conduct himself in the office so that is the my source of all this information which uh, probably durga and uh, uh, sudha may be knowing uh, so this is all about uh, what uh, father did uh, to the extent i know i hope uh, you people uh, enjoyed this bye for now